Most of mm. us really don't like change. Most of us aren't resilient. We, we like routine and habit, mm. and I'm a bit like that. So. No, we don't know how to do things like, you know, find yeah. food and, and then have to kill an animal to uh, eat it. Absolutely. And, or, and do all of that sort yeah. of... And just the basics of keeping alive, it's actually hard work. Every day, fresh water, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. And later on in the series, you're going to be... Because this was all sort of idyllic and hot and lovely and all the rest of it, but you meet a family that are living, well, in freezing cold, in the yeah, real freezing in, in cold. In the subarctic, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who live in the subarctic with no solar panels, uh, no generator right. and uh, no water supply. And every day they get on a skidoo and they go down the hill or they walk down the hill through the snow about half a mile to a stream where they break the ice and collect the water. I mean, that is hardcore. That is hardcore. That really, really is hardcore. hardcore. And they melt the ice with wood. You know, all they have is trees. That's their only resource. And a stream. That's it. That is... I have to say, I, I was enticed by that. I thought it was kind of... There's a beautiful simplicity in that, but mm. every day, that it just weighs you down. I think it would. It's set, that's what I've loved about it. It's that thing of we've all imagined in our heads of escaping, but the reality is actually quite different yes. to what you imagine in your head.